Well, hi, it's Dave. I'm back in Italy. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, once again, and uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you a, a new strategy, for me anyway, for uh, saving money and getting incredible service using your U.S. cell phone in Italy. Now, two things to start with. First of all, if you enjoy this content and want to see more of it, please hit the subscribe button. It's that little uh, red YouTube symbol in the lower right corner of this, uh, of this picture. I think right left I'm not sure uh, we'll see but it's a little YouTube symbol and the other thing is that this is not a step-by-step -step set of instructions for how to do this uh, this strategy this is a uh, this is kind of a general guide because there are a lot of different cell phone companies in the world every cell phone company has their own rules they have their own they have their own uh, their own tariffs they have their own fees and so on uh, this works for me with the uh, company I have. It'll probably work for you. I think most of this uh, this information is pretty universal. But please, 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 before you uh, try to go this route, uh, read your phone company's websites. Read what the rules are, and make sure that they support everything that I'm talking about. Now we're going to be talking about uh, several technologies that may be new to you. Uh, these include Wi-Fi uh, calling. They include using an eSIM. Uh, and tethering and cellular data sharing, which are kind of similar things. Uh, that sounds like a lot of uh, techno talk and maybe it sounds a little daunting to some people, but it's really not very difficult and uh, I'm going to try to break it down for you so that you understand how it works and what you need to do to make this happen. Uh, let me say that right now on this phone, on this little, uh, this little iPhone 14 that I'm carrying with me on this trip, I have um, both a U.S. And, Ital and an Italian phone number. Uh, my U.S. phone service, I continue to pay, but just like I would if I was at home. There's no extra charge for what I'm doing from my U.S. phone company. Um, this phone will uh, receive and allow me to make calls on my U.S. phone number just as if I was in the United States. I'm not paying my phone company a penny extra for that. It's just that it, this, this approach just works. Uh, I also have a, uh, a Italian uh, phone number in this phone uh, so I can make local calls here in Italy and to do all this magic and I also have 50 gigs of, uh, of data every month <laughs> you know and the cost for all this magic is uh, is just 14 euros so let's break it down let's go one step at a time and talk about what you need to do to make this happen well to start with Wi-Fi calling has been around for a while and you may have already you know uh, experienced it but uh, on most modern cell phones, phones made in the last uh, you know, five or six years, uh, they, most of them have the ability to make phone calls over Wi-Fi. And uh, most phone companies now allow Wi-Fi calling. What this means is if you're in a place where you have uh, an internet connection through Wi-Fi on your phone, but the towers are far enough away, you don't have any bars or one bar or whatever, the quality is not good, uh, your phone will automatically switch over and uh, make the connection to your phone company's network through Wi-Fi. And so it sounds just the same. There's no degradation in calls normally. It just sounds exactly the same. Well, my phone company in the U.S. includes uh, Wi-Fi calling. And so uh, as long as I'm on Wi-Fi when I'm in Italy, I, um, I have access to my U.S. phone number. But... Um, you know, it doesn't help me when I'm on the street and I'm trying to use a map or trying to use translation software or I'm in a restaurant uh, and I want to know what that delicious dish is, you know, that's on the menu. Is this going to be something I like or not? So uh, it's really important to uh, be able to have access to a phone when you travel. Now, uh, not every phone company supports Wi-Fi calling and uh, not every phone is supported by every company so it's important to go to your phone company's website uh, look up Wi-Fi calling see what phones they support and see if your phone is one of them well the second thing that's changed uh, a little bit lately is the introduction of something called an eSIM now most people are familiar with what a SIM is it stands for a subscriber identity module this is a little microcomputer chip that uh, goes into your phone on this uh, on this iPhone, there's a probably can't see it because it's so glary out, but there's a little door on the side here, a little slide out tray. You take a, a pin or a little straight pin or a special tool you that sometimes you can get from from your phone store, 
and uh, it pops the tray out. And once the tray is popped out, you can take the SIM card out, put a new SIM card in, and so on. And it used to be when I came to Italy, I would buy an Italian phone plan, and I would take my my uh, U.S. SIM card out and put my Italian SIM card in, and then I would forget, you know, the United States for a while and just just uh, use my Italian SIM card. Well, that changed because now we have something that's called an eSIM. An eSIM is an electronic SIM. It's a virtual SIM. You don't actually have to put a chip in the phone. And what's cool is that most phones these days support uh, both a uh, physical SIM and an eSIM or two eSIMs. Uh, you can have two different numbers in your phone at the same time uh, and, uh, and they can work together. Uh, it's really, really cool. Now, to make this magic happen, you need to have an unlocked cell phone. Now, most people, uh, when they buy phones through their phone company, if you say you go to uh, Verizon and you say, I want, a, I want my new iPhone 14, and uh, they say, fine, you know, it, uh, it'll cost you this much a month, and uh, we, here's your contract, and, uh, you know, uh, in two years, you'll, you will, things will change or whatever. And uh, what the phone company does is they do something called carrier locking or SIM locking, which means that you can only use that phone on their network. And even though there's a... Uh, the capability for having a second number in your phone, you can't use it because you know your phone is locked to their, their network. Now, most phone companies in the US, the big ones anyway, will go ahead and unlock your phone for you after you've had it for a certain number of months. If you contact them and say, hey, I'm gonna be traveling in Europe, I'd like to have an unlocked phone, uh, can you unlock my phone? And uh, you can look on, uh, online, you can look for the company's rules, see how long you have to have your phone, what the requirements are for unlocking. Usually, you may need to make sure that your accounts are current, that you're not, a, you know, you're not habitually late on your your payments and stuff like that. If you're a good customer, if you've been a customer for a while and you've had your phone for a little bit, they will usually unlock it for you. Now, if they won't unlock it, the other alternative is to uh, is to buy an extra phone. And uh, you know, I think you can probably find a phone pretty easily for around 100, 125 dollars on eBay unlocked phone that supports uh, eSIMs but again you need to you know to do a little research make sure the phone you're looking at is one that supports eSIMs so uh, this phone has both a uh, physical SIM from my US provider and an eSIM from uh, from my Italian provider I use a service over here called Vodafone uh, they don't pay me for this I pay them <laughs> but I don't pay them very much you know my Italian cell phone plan uh, cost me it's a pay-as-you-go plan it costs me uh, about 14 euros a month, which is, you know, with the current exchange rate, less than $14. And uh, I get, for that, I get uh, unlimited calls in Italy. I get uh, an Italian telephone number. I get unlimited uh, text messages in Italy. Actually, I think uh, calls and uh, text messages throughout Europe. I, I need to check on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And, um, and I get... Um, I get 50 gigabytes of data, which is a lot of data considering that, you know, I, I, have, I have internet in the apartment here and I don't need to, uh, to use uh, cell data while I'm at the apartment, so it, it works out well for me. Now, um, there's one other piece of magic that's involved in this. So, let, let's talk about how you, uh, how you set up this, this service. You, get a, you go to the phone store, you say, uh, you know, I want to... Uh, I want to establish, uh, I want to you know, buy a pay-as-you-go, a prepaid plan. There's no contract. You just, you know, give them whatever money they ask for. And uh, usually you have to pay an extra 10 bucks for the SIM, for the eSIM or the physical SIM. Uh, that, um, that provides you with a little uh, paper envelope. In that paper envelope is a QR code. You go to the settings in your phone, go to cellular, and click on set up new cellular service. Your camera turns on on your phone you take a picture of that QR code and and you're set up you're set up and you're ready to go uh, so now you have a, uh, a US phone number and an Italian phone number in your phone uh, now the next step is to link them and this is where the magic happens uh, most people are familiar with tethering almost every Italian phone company allows tethering which means that if you're in a place where you don't have Wi-Fi uh, you don't have cable internet like I do here in this uh, or fiber internet like I do here in this apartment, uh, you can uh, basically use your phone as if it were a hotspot and connect from your, say, your laptop to your uh, to your phone. 
uh, through, uh, through Wi-Fi and you're able to, uh, to have Wi-Fi on your laptop using the, cell using, using the cellular gigabytes that you have on your phone. It's, it's pretty common, a lot of people do this. Almost every cell phone plan in Italy allows for tethering. But what's new and what's awesome is something called cellular data sharing. So on your phone, when you click on cellular data, there's a switch that says cellular data sharing. So you have, at this point, you'll have two phone numbers on your phone. You'll have uh, your US phone number, which I would set to secondary. You want, you know, you want primarily you want the uh, the phone to, to default to the Italian uh, number, and uh, and you have your Italian phone number. Go to your U.S. phone number under cellular uh, data, and turn cellular data sharing off. Go to your Italian uh, settings, your Italian uh, number. Click on that. Click on cellular data, and uh, turn cellular data sharing on. Now, what this means is that. Your U.S. SIM card, your U.S. number, will share the data from the Italian uh, SIM. And so, uh, when you're on the street, when you're away from, you know, away from Wi-Fi, you have full access to your to your uh, to your U.S. phone number. It doesn't cost you a, a penny more, as far as your uh, your U.S. phone company is concerned. They don't care where you are. You're on Wi-Fi, as far as they're concerned. So it's not a it's not, there's no extra charge, at least with my phone company. I think probably with most phone companies, it's exactly the same. Now, there are a few hoops you have to jump through in order to make this happen. There's a little some documentation you need. And I did a previous video, which is, uh, which is linked up there, about how to uh, set up a, uh, a cell phone plan in Italy. Uh, it's not hard. It's just a couple hoops you have to jump through. And um, look at that video, and you'll, you know, you'll find all the information you need to make this happen. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, I'm really uh, I am really uh, happy with uh, with this discovery. It's worked out really well for me. Uh, I'm totally in touch with uh, everybody back in the U.S. In fact, a, a friend called the other night at about 9:30. I was a little late for me, but uh, hadn't quite uh, hadn't quite uh, closed my eyes yet. And uh, he wanted he's my neighbor back home. He wanted to know if he said the chickens were laying a lot of eggs, and I want a dozen eggs. <laughs> I said, sure, if you if you would deliver them to my apartment in Bologna, that would be nice. <laughs> but uh, we had a nice little chat for a few minutes, and he, you know, he said it sounded just like uh, I was home, and said there was no latency or no echo or anything like that. It just sounded normal. So, so yeah, I use that uh, I use that service all the time, um, and it's doesn't cost me anything extra <laughs> you know it's great so I hope you try this out I hope that it works for you uh, if you uh, if you have questions about it leave questions below in the comments uh, or you know contact me through my socials well from uh, Il Mio Balcone in, uh, in Bologna in the city of Bologna my balcony uh, have a great day and please essere gentile be kind <laughs>